It gives me bittersweet pleasure to welcome you to this memorial service at which we celebrate the life of the late Chief Justice Pius Langer, a man who, through his tireless efforts in working at improving the lives of all South Africans, has left this world a much better place than it was before his birth. Chief Justice Langer was born in 1939 and passed away after a prolonged illness on the 24th of July this year. He led an exemplary life that reflected a deep and profound awareness that without respect for life and the inherent dignity of every person, there can be no value to human life. My colleagues and I in the School of Law have had the honor and privilege of interacting with the late Chief Justice on a number of occasions, most notably after he was appointed Chief Justice of South Africa. Despite occupying the highest judicial office in the land, the most defining aspect of these interactions with the late Chief Justice was his humility and the respect he afforded to everyone, regardless of their status. His career pro progression is an inspiration to many young people in the country who are born in underprivileged circumstances. His life and career shows us that it is possible through self-reliance, dedication, and resilience to make one's way up from a humble background to the very pinnacle of one's profession. Although South Africa has lost one of her most erudite sons and an incomparable humanitarian, the late Chief Justice Langer's judgments will continue to influence and shape the legal and social landscape of our country for centuries to come. Law students in this and every other law school in South Africa will continue to study his judgments and in the process will be keeping alive the legacy of a gifted jurist. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to again welcome you to this afternoon's celebration of the life of the late Chief Justice Langa, who through his own efforts in assuring the dignity and value of the lives of all South Africans has made all our lives worth celebrating. The former Chief Justice played an important role at this university. He was appointed as a government representative in the Council of the University of Natal in April 1998. He resigned from council at the end of September 1998 and became a chancellor in October of the same year. He served as a chancellor of the university until the end of 2003. He also held an appointment of honorary professor in the Department of Procedural and Clinical Law. In 2009, the University of KwaZulu-Natal bestowed on the former Chief Justice the LLD <coughs> Honoris Causa degree for his excellence in promoting the advancement of human rights. I am particularly excited that the, you know, the School of Law, this School of Law, has put together this memorial service because you will know how close to his heart this institution was. When he was appointed ch Chancellor of the University, he said, you know, I never did get the opportunity to go to university as a student. So it was surprising to him, and he was always very humbled by the fact that so many institutions have honored him with doctorates, visiting professor, uh, professorship, and such you know, recognition that has made him feel part of such an esteemed um, um, uh, group of, of, of people. So as a family, uh, my uncle Mandla had meant to be here today, but he had to be in Johannesburg with his wife June and their kids. Uh, his younger brother, youngest brother, Oba uh lives back for China today. Um, and my uncle Queen, whose dad's sister, unfortunately could not be here today uh, because of a prior engagement. Some of my siblings are in Johannesburg. Ndabo and his wife are here today. And then Taba, my cousin, my daughter Keto, uh, Masha, my cousin, 
and very, very good family friends who are actually now my mothers and fathers. I especially mention Sis Linda Zama, who's sitting in front here, and my sister from another mother, Ashantiwa. We've all been very blessed to have been embraced the way that we have, hearing stories that we we, we did not know about Udata, especially stories that have touched people's lives. People are coming up to him, sorry, to us, and they're saying, I met him, I was a student and I was working. And because he had been through the working and studying thing in his life, he found a bursary for me. And I studied you know, full time. I'm now an advocate, I'm now a judge, I'm now. And he never mentioned those instances at home or those stories at home which will point to the humility that he had. Words are not enough, but just know that as the Langa family, we have great appreciation, love, and respect for this institution. Thank you so much for making us part of it and for, for honoring our father. Thank you.